Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create an interactive 3D presentation with Cesium Stories. This uh, tutorial on the Cesium website is very useful for that. I'll provide the link in the description of this video. I assume that you already have a Cesium Ion account and that you're logged in. Then you'll see the Stories tab where you can click New Story to add a new story. The main screen shows a globe and on the left panel you see your slides, which are basically points that you zoom into. For each slide you can type a title and in the info box you can add text and pictures and hyperlinks. Under assets you can control the 3D and 2D assets that you can add there and some are already available for you. For this demonstration I will use the Google Photorealistic 3D tiles. You can also control the slide duration. In this video I'm going to talk about climate adaptation in Rotterdam, so we're going to turn the globe towards Europe. The default slide starts uh, over US. I click New Slide and I can simply delete the previous slide. Click on it and then the trash bin. Choose Delete Slide. So this is our first slide which is just uh, an overview of uh, Europe. Let's add a title and some text in the info box that introduces the topic. In the map canvas you immediately see the result. Let's also add a picture of the city. And also the picture shows up in the preview. You can use the search bar to search for places. So I search here for Rotterdam and it will zoom into Rotterdam. That will be my next slide. So I click new slide, add a title and some text in the info box about the background of Rotterdam. Next we zoom into the next location where we want to tell something. And then click New Slide. This will capture the current view. Now you can already test uh, the flow of your presentation. So click on each slide and it will navigate to the viewpoints that you have set. So let's also add information for this view. I'm adding a few more in the same way. Of course, it's more interesting to tilt uh, the landscape. So we can really see the 3D photorealistic uh, buildings. So it's best to use only the left and right mouse button and not the scroll. I feel that navigating with the scroll uh, gets you sometimes very lost. So this works uh, fine. And this could be our next uh, view. And I'll add the information after adding the new slide. And let's move to the next point and uh, repeat the procedure. Click new slide and fill in the title in the info box. Here I'll demonstrate how easy it is to add a hyperlink so I select the text that I want to get linked and I simply copy uh, the link there. And click Save and now this is changed into a URL. And you see the result also in the preview. So I think these are enough slides for our demonstration here. So I changed the title to uh, Climate Adaptation in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. And then I'm ready to uh, present the result. You can click Present. It will open a new tab and load your presentation. In the lower left, you can see some controls. And with the arrow buttons of our keypad, we can uh, move through our slides. see some controls here. So on the left control we can quickly go to a view. And if we click this button it will turn into a self-controlled slideshow which uses the transition times that you have set. Here that's five seconds and it will automatically move to the next slide. If 
you click this button, you can measure things in the screen, like distances and heights or coordinates. You can control the units under settings. Here we choose metric units. And finally, you can share your presentation. Choose enable sharing and it will provide a link. This is a public link that you can use on social media or send it to your friends. And if I open the link here in my browser, it will go to my presentation, which is similar to uh, the preview that I just uh, showed. So I hope this was useful for you and that you have learned how to create nice interactive 3D presentations with Cesium Stories. If you like these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.